Have you seen the price on some of these trendy mercury glass Christmas ornaments? $25 and up for just one ornament. And these are not even vintage. I don't know about you, but I am not paying that. We can DIY it. Come on with me and let's do it together. So here's what we need. I'm using a clear plastic ball from the dollar store. I don't, I guess this is probably a six inch uh, ball that I'm gonna take off the cap. I have some vinegar in a spray bottle. This is just plain white vinegar, although red wine vinegar would smell better. I don't know if I would use that. And then I have some various spray paints. This is a metallic. I um, have frosted glass, I don't think I'm going to use that, um, gold, some hammered platinum, what do you call that, hammered um, pewter, and then hammered copper, and I have a mirror, I have a mirrored one somewhere, I don't know what this one is, this is just metallic, silver, okay. So, I'm winging it, guys, because I don't really know what I'm doing. And I need my hair dryer. So I need to dry in between layers. So, I'm really, really curious about this. And I want to try it with, I think, some different different colors of metallic. I don't know if necessarily it needs to be all silver or if it could be, see, if it can be some gold too, but I've seen all different kinds. I'm really, really curious about how the hammered copper will look. I think that would look amazing, honestly, but I'm just going to try this um, metallic silver first. So I'm just going to Make sure you can see this. So I have my ball and my silver. Okay, I'm gonna spray inside. Short burst. I'm having to put a good bit of the this in there. Um, only because it's just such a big ornament. But it is looking like it is starting to spread a little bit. Can you see it? So I need to get some on this side. Okay, I did good that time. This is really kind of cool just to get that mercury glass look. And as I'm turning 
it looks like the paint is really starting to cover the spots on the inside of the ornament that didn't really get covered before. So you see that? It's starting to cover it. See right there. And we want it kind of splotchy anyway. All right, let me try to get some more right there. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try it. I'm just turning it until I've got the look that I want and the, all the areas covered. It's really getting a splotchy look now inside. And that's exactly what I want. So that was the metallic silver. And I think I'm gonna just, just for Woo! giggles, just for grins and giggles, I'm going to put some of this pewter and see what we get. I'm going to turn my heat. looks amazing already. Um, look at that. That's just so cool. So I saw someone also just spraying vinegar in there. I'm sure this is working. to spray, not stream. There we go. So like a little, I don't know if I need to do this. Ooh, look at that. See it? And so that's activating with the, um, the paint. Ooh, that does smell good though. And it's kind of giving it that pebbly, that pebbly look. And I want it to be on this side too. You see it? Right there. So what I want to do is try to dry this. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more spray right in this area. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know if it will work. So I already have a really, really good layer of this silver. And I want to spray black inside of it because that's how you can you can fake a an antique mirror finish with the you know the metallic silver and then the the vinegar and then you spray black spray paint. So I, but I don't know if we're spraying the black spray paint will necessarily reactivate, but I'm wondering if I need to seal it with clear first. I don't know. We're going to try it. This is an experiment anyway. So I've got just flat black. Just pray for me. gosh y'all look at that how amazingly cool is that that looks really really good I 
want you to see this up close. Look at that. That is really amazing there. I just want some more pebbling up here and I don't, I'm not really getting it. So, maybe I ought to, no. All right, I'm gonna see if I can That's really cool. That's really cool. I mean, I think I could do better. But for my first try, I think this is pretty good. And it's nice and dry inside. It really does work. I think for my first try, I didn't do too bad. There may be some contrast in there. Alright, I'm just going to try some of this copper. I just want to see what will happen. I don't even know if it'll show up. You can see it poking through a little bit. Just not. I think I've got too much paint right there to really get the look that I want, but I'm okay with it. Let's get a little bit more in here. really starting to see the copper inside now. See it right there? It's starting to get pebbly. And I'm just going to keep turning it. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. And I will wipe off that excess, but I can really see it in here now. All right, let me get a, let me get some alcohol. I don't think I can get it off with that. Here we go. leave this to sit. I think it's dry. Pretty sure it's dry. That looks freaking amazing. Got all the paint off of here. But now I want to work on the cap. I'm just going to turn this the foot in like that. So our cap looks kind of plain. And it needs to look antique. -y. It needs to have a really antique look. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to paint it with, um, let's think a minute. 
Maybe just a combination of a few things. I'm going to put a blob on. And then I'm going to hold it by the little bit there. And I think I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to spray a little of that. Put some vinegar. I don't think the vinegar really made much of a difference at all, but and if you if you press down the nozzle just a little bit, whoops, it will it should kind of splitch out, splitch. There we go, and then it just kind of has a really I don't know neat mottled effect. Shouldn't have put that vinegar on there. But now I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna put the two together. But I am really, really digging this. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna dry this with the hair dryer. Oh my gosh, that is so, so, so pretty. So pretty. Wow. So I am gonna finish the top of this with some twine. Um, and this is just string from a macrame project that I will never do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around and secure it with my hot glue gun. So my hot glue gun is already hot. I'm going to put a small bead right there and I'm going to secure it just like that. And then I'm just gonna wrap around, overlapping that first row, and then just wrap around a few times. I'm gonna secure, you don't have to put glue on the whole thing. I'm gonna put a little dot just as I go. You don't need to glue the whole thing, that's overkill. I mean, if you want to, it's complete personal preference. Just as long as it doesn't move. I mean, you can use something a little thicker than twine like this. And this is just what I have on hand. And um, so that's what I'm using. There it is, my pretty faux mercury ornament. I love it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna try it. I love it. No, I mean, I honestly, not bad for my first try. 
The copper is what did it. All right.